Chambers Bay to commercial gill netting after witnessing what he describes as a massacre of saw sharks. The fish tour operator says commercial fishermen are killing many species to make the area more attractive for barramundi. It's sure to make any amateur angler see. Fish lying lifeless on a beach left to rot in the sun surrounded by hundreds of metres of gill net. If the fish aren't as, as worth as much in the, in the marketplace, then they just discard them dead. But the practice is not illegal. With um, gill nets used in the Barramundi fishery, for instance, uh, there are closure lines set around river and creek mounds uh, right around the Territory coastline. Uh, and people are required to obviously adhere to those rules. And so there's no doubt some are pushing the limits. These boats were seized just weeks ago during a surveillance operation at Bailey River. There have been a number of um, people who we have uh, detected and who will be alleging uh, have been fishing inside uh, close lines or using uh, too much uh, gill net. These images snapped at Fog Bay of sawfish caught up in gill nets, snapped in half and floating dead in the water. So haunted to our operator Jason Rogers, he's taken his concerns to the water police. You're killing fish to catch something else. You know, you're killing a thousand fish to catch 200 barrel. He says the government missed an opportunity to clean up the act with current closure lines and wants them rezoned. I'd like to see the closure from Point Jenny to Patterson Point, and that would just get the commercials right out of there. The fisheries minister has told Nine News he's seen the footage and will raise the issue with the Seafood Council. He's yet to see the pictures from Fog Bay, but has called for anyone witnessing suspicious activities to report the matter to authorities. Michelle Buckworth, Nine News. Oh.